Files are stored in something called the Hadoop Distributed File System, which everyone just refers to as HDFS. As a developer, this looks very much like a regular file system, the kind you're used to working with on a standard machine. But it's helpful to understand what's going on behind the scenes. So that's what we're going to talk about here. Imagine we're going to store a file called mydata.txt in HDFS. This file is 150 megabytes. When a file is loaded into HDFS, it's split into chunks, which we call blocks. Each block is pretty big. The default is 64 megabytes. Each block is given a unique name, which is BLK, an underscore, and a large number. We'll call ours block 1, 2, and 3. And in our case, the first block is 64 megabytes. The second block is 64 megabytes. The third block is the remaining 22 megabytes to make up our 150 megabyte file. As the file is uploaded to HDFS, each block will get stored on one node in the cluster. There's a daemon, or piece of software, running on each of the machines in the cluster called the data node. Now clearly, we need to know which blocks make up the original file. And that's handled by a separate machine running a daemon called the name node. The information stored on the name node is known as the metadata. That's fine as far as it goes, but there are some problems with this. Take a look at the diagram and see if you can spot where we might run into trouble. For example, let's say there was a network failure between the nodes or a disk failure on a data node. Do you think it's an issue that not all of the data nodes are used to store data? Or could it be a problem that the block sizes differ? Two of them are 64 megabytes, but one was only 22 megabytes. Finally, do you think it'd be a problem if we had a disk failure on the name node? 